Okay, so, uh, this is gonna be a kind of different style of video. Um, this is me playing DayZ, and this is a very, uh, random little interaction I had where, uh, yeah, this was, there's someone I happened upon while looting an area next to where I had spawned. Um, this guy didn't, he had a microphone, it wasn't working at the time, um, but later, in, in the next video it'll become clear, but, uh, he wished that the microphone he had was working, uh, the entire time. Yeah, I'm gonna try and basically just commentate this after the fact. So for this part I'm kind of just covering doors for him. Let's see checks out interiors. Um, this, I happened upon him at that well in this town and I don't really know the names of towns. I haven't gotten good with that yet. Uh, he helped me out a lot during this. In the later parts, it'll become a little bit more clear as he's able to talk to me. But at this point, I'm kind of just following him around. I'm assuming that he has a little bit more knowledge than me. Um, there, there were a couple times where I was playing this. I ran, ran across, I think, probably two other people, and I only had no weapon. I more or less just ambushed them inside of houses. I would sit behind closed doors and if I heard someone coming, I would just take a position that wasn't near a window so they couldn't see me and just whack them right in the face as soon as they came through. And usually people would back off because you're at a disadvantage. You might be bleeding. It's not, not a good situation. But this guy is totally peaceful the entire time and he's always looking back checking to make sure I was still following him so I, I felt good about it and I was just kind of shooting the shit with him giving my own little internal monologues of what was going on going on um, yeah I was uh, checking his work there I didn't know how this was all gonna go turn out. Didn't know really how much he knew, but again, I was assuming he knew a little bit more than me. Um, at this point, we're coming upon a little military checkpoint, doing our little crouchy maneuvers, moving between cover. Uh, <laughs> this was hilarious. I had no idea at this point how the hell he was executing all of these zombies. It was, it was miraculous to me. I thought he was a goddamn hero. I told him that several times. Um, yeah. And in this game, I don't know why, I, I like uh, a green aesthetic. If I can make it work, I want to I wanna be wearing all green. Probably obvious as I'm walking against the grass. It's for camouflage, but... Yeah, <laughs> trying to find a stick so that I can have a decent melee weapon that isn't uh, isn't the knife, because I figure I can use the knife for other things. And this point right here comes up behind that zombie, executes it, and I this is where I I tell him he's a goddamn hero, and that I have no idea how he's how he's accomplishing that. At this point, I think we've moved a little bit further down. I can't tell you exactly which cardinal direction. I want to say we moved uh, southwest-ish, essentially, on this route, from whatever direction that checkpoint was at. We, we went back, kind of just circling around, looting different houses, different things 
checking out what what we can find. I still can't talk to him though. I I can say words at him, but he can't respond. So I'm just kind of moving off of his、uh, body language, I guess. At this point, I've looted a lot of pieces of weapons and ammunition for weapons, but、oh, uh, pardon me. Only working with the、uh, steak knife and、uh, possibly a stick if I ever think to use it. This guy going to town with a knife.、Um, I I didn't catch anyone's names during this. There are a couple other people who show up, and it's, it's just a pretty fun.、Uh, later on in this series, essentially, they'll show up. Now we are moving, I believe, northeast. So just kind of moving back and forth on this one road. And again, I'm trying to talk to him, but as far as I can tell, he either doesn't have a microphone. At this point, I'm trying to pronounce the name of this as if it were、uh, just. Not Cyrillic, and it was the standard English alphabet. I don't know what he thinks about that. <laughs> I never got that off of him. Like, hey, what do you think of my terrible、uh, interpretation of Russian, ethnic Russian? We're moving into a town here, looting some rail cars. Keep switching off、uh, my attire, and、uh, this is a fun, fun little moment. He drops me a teddy bear. It's like a, a Valentine's Day themed one or something. It's got a little heart on its chest. It was cute. I appreciated it. It was very nice for for interactions on Daisy. I wasn't really sure what to expect. I didn't know if someone just like me would suddenly just start trying to shank me in the face with, you know, the exact same type of steak knife I'm holding right now. And right there, I was trying to figure out how he、uh, executed the zombie, but I I did not know yet. He hadn't told me so. I did not know the correct button pressing to do in order to make that work. I'd actually lost him for a second here as well, and came back across him right there. And I noticed something that he was wearing, which was similar to what he had been before. So I knew he was the same man, and the things on his back were the same. I think I'd picked up a shotgun or some type of rifle, one of the single shots. BK18, so the hunting rifle, seven six two by thirty nine or something, whatever it runs. Yeah, we start moving into this town, seeing what we can get accomplished. And again, I'm just running based off his body language, <laughs> um, looting another little building here. I really want to take the rice, and I'm explaining that to him. Like I, I wish I could take that rice. I don't know why I want to take that rice, but I want it. And he grabbed it. This guy's a good goddamn man. I appreciated him.、It、started to、uh, move even deeper, going pretty quick. And、uh, yeah, there were suddenly a couple more zombies around us than was.、Uh, Really comfortable. I was trying like heck to close that door as quickly as possible.、It、wasn't going too well.、And、for a moment, we just chill out here.、Um, this this game has always been interesting to me for there, a long time. I've just watched people play it and thought, you know, I'd love to give that a try, but. For a very long time, I haven't had a PC capable of running games. 
way back in like 2002, 2003, I had a PC and I used to play Halo online. Blood Gulch was my favorite map of all. You could get all over the fucking place, but these are stories for another time. Um, yeah, we're just hanging out in this building trying to get the zombies to de-aggro. Um, I think I kept getting seen through the windows. He was probably getting a little tired of it. So, we just start moving. I was ready to back him up. I, I think I was telling him that there was a zombie right outside, to the right, and he probably knew that. But, you know, just letting him know I'm aware of what the hell is going on. <laughs> Got my trusty old steak knife out. Took him down. Relative ease. And I haven't figured out at this point, I don't think, that the plus sign next to an infected body means they're, they have something on them, so I was checking everybody. At this point, we've moved well through that town. Um, the way I was recording it was just 25 to 30 second bursts, basically. It's the uh, Xbox One little clips thing. Just getting short little recordings off of it for context. At this point, we get stuck in this little house, and I'm starting to realize that, oh yeah, they can definitely see you through windows. Um, I got seen. I was just looking back at him. And we were kind of just trapped in here. Quite a few zombies around us. I want to say there was three, maybe. One right outside that door, two around the back. So we were just taking a beat, letting, uh, letting it breathe, as it were. And then, finally, after things chilled out, we decided to move outside. Mm -hmm. See if we could move around undetected a little bit more. Scooting about. I'm trying to close doors behind us. And there was a zombie inside this house, which uh, was one of the ones I'd heard inside there. I was probably giving him all sorts of call-outs. But he knew. I'm sure he knew. And at this point, um, I'm just following his rotation through this town. Um, we end up going this way, and there's a zombie right out in this field that starts bashing him real good. I want to give him backup, but I don't want to get too close, get hit, or potentially hit him. So, uh, although I've not played the game a lot, I understand that there is kind of a zone around people where if you get too close, you might accidentally get fucked up. And yeah, I, I didn't want to have him think I was trying to murder him. Because again, I, I couldn't talk to him. I wished that I could. It, it wasn't meant to be at this point. And uh, making steady progress through this town, whichever one this is, it's in the very northeastern corner of the map. I don't know. The name's well enough to be able to tell you which, uh, which town this is right now. But he uh, was taking a moment around some trees back there I started to figure out that apple trees are a thing. This was where uh, things started to unravel in our interaction. We came upon the Christmas event, which is a Christmas tree with just boxes upon boxes upon boxes of loot that you can uh, just open up and yeah, I was dug in pretty deep on trying to get some stuff. The greed got to me real good. I kind of didn't realize. And then I woke up, immediately uh, ran over here, accidentally let a zombie close the door. And yeah, maybe, maybe he opened it accidentally again. I don't know what happened there, really. Yeah, it becomes a very dire situation suddenly. <laughs> Trying like heck. 
try and like kick. I was holding on. All I wanted was to get uh, some bandages into my hands. I think I passed out once before this while bleeding out. I might not have. This might be the same stream. He was still... I'm pretty sure he resuscitated me. And that's what woke me up that time. And I was trying to tell him, like, I don't know if I'm going to make it. You might, you might just want to let me die and just loot my body. But he was a good man. He was there till the very end. I'm sure I was telling him I'm still bleeding. Or I will start telling him at some point the situation with me. There it is. But yeah, <laughs> there it is. Dead.